Hi, welcome to Free Flow Wednesday on the Crafty Maven Getaway Channel. I'm Barbara Michelle. This week's inspiration piece had a lot to do with the 4th of July holiday here in the United States. But there were other things you could take from it too. Um, there was just the wood grain that was in the bench and the stars, or just the stars, you could choose that. Any celebration that involves fireworks, because there was a picture of a firework. Or you could just go with the colors, red, white, and blue. There was also like the underside of the of a pier. You could see the pilings in the water and a little bit of a wave. So a trip to the beach would have been good. Actually, one year my family and I went to the beach for New Year's and they did fireworks at midnight. So I could have chosen a layout about that. But I did ultimately go with the 4th of July holiday. So you saw me at the beginning just gutting the white and the red and the white paper. I'm going to use those pieces later on my layout, or at least this red strips. Um, and this fireworks paper I got from Joann's. It's called. It's from Paper Pizzazz, I think. It's a super thin piece of paper, so I could only use it as a layer. Um, I guess you could back it with a like a cardstock, 12 by 12, if you wanted to use it as your background. But I chose it as a layer. So there I glued down those red strips. And then I realized I did not glue down that white piece of paper. So I had to take that apart and redo it. Um, and I put the red strips back on. For some reason I can't get them lined up exactly right. But it worked out okay because of that pattern paper with the fireworks on it, it'll cover up that little area there where it doesn't quite match. So the pictures I'm, for the pictures I'm going to put some stays on ink for the edges and then, um, but the pictures, they are of my daughters and my niece and they're doing some daytime fireworks while we're waiting for the sun to set so we can get to the, the big event fireworks. Here we're at my aunt's house. She lives in a rural community, more, um, I don't know. It's kind of, it's a small town in the middle of a farmer's community. But they allow fireworks. So we go down there, we've gone down there every year for the 4th of July for like the past six or seven years, I think. They put on a really great show, my aunt and uncle. Um, and everybody brings fireworks to share and it's just as good as going to watch the city fireworks I mean they've gotten better over the years oh. but it's really great show nice big fireworks lots of loud booms and you're super close I mean it's right there so I like it uh, we haven't actually been down to see the city's display of fireworks in a while the 4th of July is one of my favorite holidays because of the fireworks. I really, I enjoyed the colors. The gold ones, the gold sparkly ones are my favorite. I don't like any of the screechy, whistly kind of fireworks. I only like the big boom ones. So I pulled out some of my punches and um, I had this like small wonky shaped star punch and the tiny little regular shaped star. And I used my scraps to punch out the star pieces. And now I'm scattering some Heidi Shine around my photos. I was just using my hand to keep the, the um, shine off the photos. The, my title is next. I'm just choosing right here. I'm choosing uh, some kind of foil sparkly red is what I choose for my title. And it's going to be simply fun with fireworks. Not very creative, but it explains what they're doing. Um, they were playing with sparklers when it got kind of dusk, you know, so you could see. And then they were also doing some smoke bombs and snakes, all daytime stuff, like I said. So my title kind of didn't stand out enough from the background. And I decided to use this white gel pen to outline the letters. I think it helped a lot. Also, it went with the theme red, white, and blue. And that's the end of my layout. Thank you so much for watching. Here are some close-ups. 
Um, be sure to check out the other Crafty Mavens. A lot of great videos here on this channel. And I hope you have a great day.